We're starting a whole new unit called Solving Systems of Linear Equations. Now, I know your first question is going to be, what the heck is a linear system? Well, a linear system is when you have not one, but two or more equations that share the same variables. So in my example, I've given you two equations that have both an x and a y. So we could consider these a system of equation. Now, what I'm looking for is an x and a y value that if I put them back into these equations, would make both of the equations true. That is called the solution to the system. Now, I could also graph both of these equations, and their lines would intersect. And interestingly enough, they intersect right at the point where the x and y value make both of these equations true. Now, I've already done the work on this, and the solution to this system of equations that I have given you is the point 5, 20. So if I put the x value of 5 and the y value of 20 in both of these equations, I would get a true statement. And I'm going to do that real quick for you so you can see what I'm talking about. As you can see, I took the 20 and replaced the y and I took the 5 and replaced the x in both equations and then solved them. And I got 20 equals 20. So indeed, 5 comma 20 is the x and y value that is a solution to this system of equations. Okay, now what we're going to learn is that there are several ways to solve a system of equations. One of the ways is graphing. Actually graph the lines and see where they intersect. Another way is to use algebra, and there, actually there's two ways to do that. There's a process called substitution, and there is a process called elimination, and we're going to learn all three of these ways uh, over the next several weeks. The first thing that we are going to look at is graphing. Now, when you are using graphing to solve a system of equations, the first thing that you are going to do is graph both equations. Then you're going to look at your graph, see where the two lines intersect, and you're going to estimate that point of intersection. And then you're going to put that x and y value back into your equations, just like I did, to see if it is indeed the solution to the system. Before we get going on this, though, I want to do just a very fast review of graphing in general. All right, so when you have an equation and you want to graph it, the first thing you're going to do is make sure it's in slope-intercept form. And all the equations that you are going to do first will be in slope-intercept form. Remember, that is y equals mx plus b. And you are going to identify two things. That is the y-intercept which is your b value out here. So in this particular equation, it is negative 1. You're always going to pick up the sign of, in front of the number. So my y-intercept of this equation is 0, negative 1. And then you're going to pick up or identify your slope, which is the value in front of your x, your m value. So in this case, it is 2. Now remember slope when you're graphing is rise over run. So if I have a whole number, I'm going to put it over 1 to change it into rise over run. And I'm going to give myself some driving directions. The positive 2 on top tells me that I need to go up instead of down. The positive 1 on the bottom tells me I need to go to the right because rise is up or down and run is left or right. Now, I am going to... Oh, sorry, my cat just walked across my video screen, so hang on just a second. Okay, all's good. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to use my y-intercept. That's my starting point, so I'm going to make one nice big fat dot at 0, negative 1. And then I'm going to use my driving directions and my slope. From that negative 1, I'm going to go up 2 to the right 1, up 2 to the right 1, up two to the right one and I'm going to do that as many times as I need to to make a really good line. Now remember critical 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 you need to make sure that you are using a straight edge 
This is especially important when we get into solving systems. So I'm going to use a straight edge and I'm going to draw the line. So that's just a quick review of graphing an equation. Now let's look at solving a system by graphing. Oh, well that didn't work well, did it? Let's see if I can try this again. Ah, CC, get away. All right. Um, I would like you to solve this linear system. And what we're going to do is we're going to graph each one of these lines. And then we're going to see where they intersect and check using algebra to see if that's the solution. So let's do our first equation here. Now remember, I'm going to identify the y-intercept and the slope. Okay so, on, okay, so on my first equation, I'm looking up here, and my y-intercept is negative 7. So I'm going to plot a point at 0, negative 7. Nice big fat point. And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to identify my slope. Now, there's a 1 in front of that lonely variable even though we don't write it down. So my slope is going to be 1, and I'm going to change that into a fraction, 1 over 1, and I'm going to put some driving directions. I'm going to go up 1 and to the right 1. So from my point, negative 7, I'm going to go up 1 to the right 1, up 1 to the right 1, as many times as I need to to make a really good line. Now, I'm going to look at my next equation, negative one-fourth x minus two. My y-intercept on this one is zero, negative two. If you look right here. And my slope is negative one-fourth. Now notice that I put my negative with my 1. I'm always going to put my negative on a fraction with my numerator. All right, now driving directions for this, negative 1 tells me to go down. Positive 4 tells me to go to the right. Okay, so I'm going to plot 0, negative 2. Make a nice big fat point there. And then from there, I'm going to go down 1 to the right, 4. Down 1 to the right, 4. And again, I'm going to do as many of those as I need to. I'll probably go up 1 to the right, 4, as I need to to make a really good line. Now if you look back, after I graph both of these equations, I am going to identify where they cross. And it's pretty clear that they cross right there at the point 4, negative 3. So now I have to check using algebra to see if that point 4 and negative 3 actually is a solution to this system. So I'm going to use my first equation and I'm going to replace the y and the x with 4 or negative 3 and 4. And as we can see on the first equation, when I put negative 3 as y and 4 as x, and I solved it, I got negative 3 equals negative 3. Woohoo! So it is a solution to that equation. Now let's try it on our second equation. And as we can see on this second equation, when I replaced y with negative 3 and x with 4, and I put it as 4 over 1 so you could see my work, that negative 3 equals negative 3. So the solution to this equation is 4, negative 3. This is what I want you to do on the next slide. I want you to graph both equations, tell me what you think the solution is, and then check it using algebra. All right, so on the next one, I want you to graph y equals negative 4x plus 9 
and y equals negative 1 half x plus 2 and tell me what the solution is after you have checked it using algebra. Please pause your video and do that now. All right, check your graph against mine. Check your solution against mine. If you got the correct answer, and make sure you have written all of this in your notes because your teacher is going to want to check them, then uh, you are ready to start the first set of homework. I think it's 38A, where you are just graphing a system and identifying the solution.